one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is a 1998 Toyota Camry in the XLE model. Fully loaded, my shadow walking through it, the whole deal. Straight car, this is gonna be an exterior review. I'm gonna go around and show you any of the dents, things, damages, or anything like that about the car that you may see on it. Um, it is for sale. Actually, a kid that works for me uh, actually drove it out here to San Diego from Massachusetts. And um, he's actually looking to get something else. Yada, yada, yada. This, that, the other. It's for sale. Perfect for your kid in college or this or that or this or that or yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to go around and show you the exterior here. Real simple, quick review. Um, it's a nice car. It runs good. Um, it's not issue free by any means. Um, I'm going to show you anything on it and such. Paint cracking in there. Miscellaneous cracks in the bumper. Looks to have been maybe touched up at some point. Let me get down here. Ah. He's got a power steering leak up in there. It's not all rusted out on the frame or nothing. It's really clean. That power steering leak is really uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not the man, but he needs a part. It's the kind of thing a guy can grab at the junkyard and put on. You want somebody to inspect this or something, you're more than welcome to. That's the worst mechanical issue. It's had a misfire. There's a misfire on it. Um, he doesn't know how to get the back three plugs off. Man, I'm not messing. I'm just selling this thing. It runs and drives like a good thing. He just took me up the auction yesterday. You can tell someone glued that back on. The glue sticking around it. This lady has chips in the hood. That's the three or four biggest ones right there. Oops. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of little teeny ones. Tiny chips. Tiny chipples. Okay. Like I said, that bumper has been touched up. Doesn't match 100%, etc. That chip, a little gougy chip, and you know, some chips around here. Faded on the mirror. Looks like it had a screw put back on it or something to put it in. A little bit of fading on the door. Yeah, it's a scratch here or there. Chip and a little scratch here or there. Ding, 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 ding. And let me show you this here in a second. The back bumper's got that kind of paint damage on it. Little miscellaneous chips everywhere on the back bumper. You see there. You can also see. It's got patina on it. But the A-arms and everything are clean. It doesn't look to be winter roaded a whole lot. It's inspected and everything. Um, so they definitely passed all that. Little miscellaneous scratches on the surface back here. Um, little dings or something there, like we close something in the trunk. And it's just up just a tad bit. Um, I don't know the title situation. I'm going to check that out. I believe it's a clear title. A um, little bit of rusty type stuff right there on the top surface. Not deep, just the paint chipped off and it got a little corrosion on top. Uh, back in here. They painted over this or something. And I think they put some filler on it or something, I'm pretty sure. Um, I know they painted over it and it just feels like they got filler on it. 99%. Little chips and stuff here, a little scrape there. Cracking the paint there. But overall, nice straight car. You can see down it is straight. Uh, there's ding 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 ding, like I said. A ding here and a ding here and a here. And I'm sure you find one more I didn't show you or something. That chip actually has a little ding on it. Let's go right up this side. The lenses look good. See along that bumper, all the chips. On the side of the ding here. This, this one's not as faded out, but it looks like they painted that to match. And it meh matches. And it could be it just it's faded over time, the rest of the car. Little scratches in here, a little light scratchy gouge there. No real intention, you just drug it along something. Okay, I showed you, I need to show you this on the other side. A little corrosion starting right there. It looks like they've painted that before. So, little scratches in the door and along here. Now the miles, you're buying the miles, 120,000, man. Nice and solid, little couple bubbles starting there in the paint, but it's not through anything inside the fender wells. You 
you see that? Hang on. All in great shape. Mark here. It's almost like something on it. Thing here. And kind of spotty on the paint. They just kind of... It's not perfect. It's a nice little driver. Chips along there. And I'm selling this because he's getting something else. Looks like tree sap on it there. Sunroof and all. Everything's a working, working modeal. We'll get a full description on it. Um, that's pretty much the exterior. Now what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to give you a test drive connected in with this video. So, with that in mind, let me think about how I'm going to do this. Let's test the bumper. And these tires, the front tires, yeah, they're in decent shape. You got 35% tread or so. They're Michelin's. Nice deal. Now he just put these on it. We have a Starfire RFCS 20 years. They're brand new. Um, he just put them on a while back. I'll show you the other side. It is an XLE. A little mark or something there. A little chip there. This guy over here talking to himself. Um, nice car. Very nice car. Great shape. This guy's talking to himself. And you can see where they did some stuff on the front bumper here. Okay, he could use this car. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Actually, I'm not going to say that now. I'm going to clip more in. We'll talk to you in a minute. Ah. Okay, let me show you this. Starting to hate screaming. It's all a little bit corrosion there on the top because of chips. He is screaming and yelling. That man needs some help. Don't have that same issue over here. But there is some tar or something on it there. And this here has a hole in it from the corrosion. It needs to be kind of either welded in a piece or just, you know, get some filler at Walmart and make the thing look close and buy a can of the real touch up paint that matches. Just a little bit of this and that. This is a nice project type car. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the test drive right now. Let's do this. Now guaranteed on this thing, at some point you'll get the check engine light to come back on. Because it has a misfire. Um, I think it needs pumps and wires. He took me all the way to the auction. Just slow down on some hills. Other than that, it runs good, man. Shifts nice, drives nice, brakes nice. Um, you know, I actually, I do feel like it needs, um, I feel like it needs some shocks. Yeah, overdrive off, but 
you can tell, the misfire is not that serious. But it does slow down on the... feels a little. I don't know. Like I say, the reason I'm selling this and I'm involved is the kid that works for me is one to sell it. Sure's a nice little car. I mean, you need a cheap set of wheels. Here you go. Okay, let's go back and do another test drive down this road. Right here. just blasting them. Sorry about that. I'm going to roll the windows down. And this power steering leak, he says, man, I bought like eight quarts. He did. He has eight quarts of power steering fluid. The problem is, when you're on the highway, it don't really leak much at all. Oh, man. This guy's coming to me. He's like, oh, geez. I'll just drive really slow. And, okay, so it's on me, whatever. So you get a rough thing starting out with that misfire. Six cylinder. Okay, I'm gonna let these guys get ahead of us. We'll slow down a bit. I want you to hear it run a little more. And it drives nice. Except for the shocks. And it's not a bad thing. It's just I feel it needs shocks. Figure for what it's worth. I mean, it. He just drove it like five, six thousand miles or something in the last little while. So, I mean, it's not like it needs them, needs them so bad that the kid, you can't drive it or something. I mean, good little driver. Yeah, man. It's got it. These things go for so many miles. Okay, I'm gonna go for the concrete plant. Cut this thing off. That's zero to speed limit at about a third, quarter to third throttle. I'm gonna park it right here. Get some night pictures. Pictures of the interior. And I'm gonna call it a day on this thing and do the interior video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Well, I'm, I'm gonna get out and show you. Ending right here, just because that's what we do. These windows rolled up, though. <clears throat> okay. Nice little car. Oh man. And then he's got this. There we go. We're set up now. Okay, well, that's your car. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, we'll talk to you.